Good morning. It is about 3.40 a.m. right now, but we've got a surprise in the works. I uh, woke up yesterday morning and, you know, do like I usually do. I hop on the Facebook marketplace and I start scrolling and just seeing what I can see. Killing time while laying in bed, like a lot of you probably do. And I ran across a car. that I've, I've been looking for one of these for a while and figured if I ever found one at a decent price, I'd buy it. I found one at a decent price, so I bought it. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the title. I don't know if it's gonna be one of those, hey, look at my new car, come see what it is, but uh, I am gonna hold off on the video here until it gets here. So, it's actually in Georgia. Uh, I live in Indiana, so I, uh, I sent a buddy of mine, uh, I paid him to pick this car up today. He left at about one in the afternoon. Like I said, it's about 3.40 right now. It was about a seven hour trip one way, uh, but can't thank the guy enough. He, he didn't have to do that. It you know, took all day to do. He got off work and came here, got my truck and trailer and, and went. So props to him, but I'm very excited to get this thing back. So I, it is gonna be another kind of project car, but this one runs and drives already. So we may do some burnouts before I start tearing into it. But uh, the S10, which is still ongoing, I'm gonna be making another video for it tomorrow. To go up on Monday, uh, it is still good. It's it's still happening. Uh, this car will be finished, or sorry, this truck will be finished before I start on this new project. Uh, it is a hot rod. It's an old muscle car. It's not new by no means. It still runs carburetor. Which, by the way, I'm glad I picked this spare LS up. Well, I, I would say LS, but it's it's just a 5.3. But I'm glad I picked it up. It came out of a, an old Tahoe, and it's got about 115,000 miles on it, which is about 200,000 less than what was originally built for the S10. So I think that is a perfect motor to do an LS swap for this car. There's gonna be plenty of room if I wanna throw a turbo in there, which I do. I'd love to throw a turbo in the S10, but uh, there's just not a whole lot of room to do so, as you can see, because even if I get the uh, even if I get the turbo manifolds from like Holly that are really tight and close fitting to the engine, there's really nowhere to put it. I'd have to relocate the battery, which is not a big deal, but it's still, there's, there's very little room. So this is gonna be a fun little cruiser, I think. And the new car may be a little more radical. I, I don't know, this has all happened in you know less than 24 hours, so. I don't know, I'm pretty excited. Um, he, he's about 20, 15, 20 minutes out right now. So I'm gonna put this down and we're gonna come back whenever he starts pulling up. I'm gonna to have to back the trailer up to the garage because he's not comfortable doing so. So I'll probably throw it on a time lapse and just kind of let it go from there. And once we get the car in the garage, you know, I'll give you a walk around, let you know my thoughts. I will be back as soon as uh, he's coming down the lane and pick this back up. All right, here he comes. He's coming down the lane. I'm gonna to to open up the door. I probably won't film on this camera whenever he gets here because he doesn't want to be on camera, so I got the uh, GoPro set up time lapse getting off the trailer, I hope. Either way, let's get the garage door open and uh, see what it is.
What do you think? New Project Nova in the house. So it is a 1973 Nova. Um, unfortunately, I know the 68s through 72 are the most desirable for a variety of reasons. One of those being the front and rear bumpers. However, good luck finding one that is reasonably priced. As I mentioned, I've been wanting a Nova. I've been wanting a Nova for years. Uh, we had one when I was a kid as a drag car and um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was, it was cool. I liked the lines. I like the lines of the Nova far more than the Chevelle, the Camaro, Firebird, all that. I like the Nova. So when I found this this morning, I was like, sweet, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta get it. Now in the pictures, it looked black. However, I don't know how much this is showing up on camera. It is, uh, well, it's not black. It is a certain flavor of green, as you can see, I think. Uh, and the paint job is absolutely atrocious. However, that just means there's more to do on this channel. Uh, we are definitely going to do a full repaint, full new interior. It's actually got power seats. No idea what these came out of, but the power seat does work. Back seat's in the trunk. It needs completely reupholstered. The wiring is uh, something interesting, to say the least. But again, not a big deal. We're going to be redoing all that. Uh, the wheels and tires, however, look fantastic. They look brand new. It does run. It does drive. It's nothing, nothing special. It's just a standard 350 small block Chevy. It'll brought carb and wiring that's held up with more wiring. Look at that. Oh, that's the that's the training lines. But um, overall, though, I'm very happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I paid for it because in my area, you're not gonna find anything cheaper in this kind of condition. I paid 5,600 bucks for it. And again, up here, that's a deal. Uh, usually what you're gonna find, 68, 274 in this area for that price range is gonna be rusted out, uh, no engine, no trans, so, something on those lines. At least this is a driver. It looks good from about 20 feet away and uh, it'll do burnouts. So I'm very happy with what I paid for it. Um, I may have, you know, haggled a little bit if I would have went and picked it up in person, but that it is what it is. Um, my uh, my buddy who picked it up for me, he did do a little bit of haggling, got me about three hundred bucks more less than what we agreed to on the phone. But either way, I'm very happy. It's going to be a fun addition to the fleet. I've still got the '55 in the other garage I need to work on, but this is uh, this is something I've wanted for a long time, so I'm very happy to have it. But we are going to finish the S10 before we touch the Nova. Uh, and after the S10, I actually may get back to the 55 a bit because this is, this is actually good to drive as is if I want to. Um, and I may do that. Well, I probably will do that. But I don't know. What do you think? I got that spare motor. You think I, th you think I should throw that in there? Maybe a, a, a little turbo to set beside it? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Using maybe the, the Holley Terminator X system. Um, that would be a, a killer car. I did look underneath the car. I can't get down there now because it's on the ground, but the exhaust, and that was, I don't know if you noticed in the time lapse, that is why it was so difficult to get off the trailer. Um, it wasn't good. It looks like someone, I, I don't have a good way of explaining it, but let's just get down there and see if we can see it. I, I don't know if we can. Uh, well, you can kind of see, so there's the muffler. It's not very bright, but held up by clothes hanger and up here it's a uh, flex pipe <laughs> going into some uh, some glass pack it looks like it's awful it's awful it does have a power steering leak uh, not a big deal but you can see that uh, it looks like the drain I'm wrong. The pressure line on the gear is leaking. Not a, not a big deal. That's easy to replace, easy to fix. Uh, there is no passenger side mirror. If you're watching this and you know something about Novas, did they come with them? I don't know. It does have a driver's side. But there's not even space for it up there. So like I said, if, if you know, let me know. The dash, uh, you can't see it. It doesn't work. It's like they took a razor blade to it to try and make you see it. I don't know. Center console's gone. Um, again, I'm still very happy with it. The dash is in okay shape. It does have a couple cracks there, which I've seen worse. 
It does need a headliner. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but it does need a headliner. It's, it, what's up there is falling, and actually, is that even the fabric, or is that... No, that's fabric. I don't know what that is. That's got to come out and be redone. But, so it's about 5-ish in the morning. Uh, it's 5.17. It's 5.17 in the morning. I'm tired. I just sent the guys on their way. They didn't want to be on the, on the video, so I didn't record till we got it in here. Um, you're going to see them on the time lapse, but we got our work cut out for us, but uh, I think it'll be a cool one. Let me know what you think. No rust on the car. The floor pans are good. The trunk pan is even good. Overall, she's solid. Uh, like I said, it came from Georgia. Up here, we get salt and snow and ice. They don't really get that down there. I don't, I don't know if that's how long it's been there, but either way, she's in good shape. Fantastic base to start with, you know. But anyway, I, I'm just rambling. I'm, I'm excited to have the car. I can't wait to get started on it. But I don't want to get too much into it right now because we got the S10 to finish. So that'll do it for this video. You know, I, 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 I look forward to all the projects we're going to have coming with the, the Nova. Uh, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time.